One day we've told this story for years, but it's the fastest way to help you hear what we're really getting at. Esther had a beautiful gold pen and she liked to use it to write love letters to people. And in one of the moves, she lost track of it and she couldn't find it. And she looked and looked and looked and looked for it. And she dumped out everything that it could possibly be in. And her search was most concentrated in her purses and handbags because that seemed the logical place to find it. But she could not find it. Turned things upside down, felt in the lining and the pockets of everything. And Jerry kept saying, well, just get another. I don't want another. I want that one. I want that one. That's the one I want. And as long as she was looking for something that she believed was lost, she could not find it. Her vibration of it being lost was so powerful within her that even though her desire to find it was strong too, she could not find it. And finally, she just got tired of feeling that way about that pen and she just decided to give up on it. Okay, I'll get another pen. Okay, okay, I'm going to stop looking for the pen. And then a little bit of time passed, not very much, a day or two or three. And now she is getting ready one day and realized that she wanted to put a particular fragrance perfume on and there was a special perfume sprayer that she knew which purse it was in because she just had it and so she went to that purse reached in intending to come out with that perfume and came out with the pen <laughs> that had been there all along it seemed completely illogical to her how could I not find something that was right there all the time it's because when you are sure that it's lost you can't see it life is perceptual in other words you'll just guide yourself around her path of resistance was so strong that she could not find it so the point that we're making here is that when you're in that place where you're trying to find something and in this case you're not even sure what it is you're not sure what it is and you're not sure where it is you can dig around in a lot of purses and find yourself really frustrated when you're looking for something you don't even know what you're looking for or where it is but when you have found your way to your receptive mode your inner being will present to you a thought that you can receive like Esther could receive the thought about the perfume we were telling her exactly where it was she could not hear us but she could hear about the perfume now don't spend any time trying to figure out why she could hear one and why she couldn't hear the other the answer is she hadn't thought about the perfume being lost and so your inner being will lead you with one thought and another and another and another sometimes you're over here and where you want to be is over here your inner being will lead you over there and 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 then over there and you might say why didn't they just hurry because <laughs> you couldn't hear it <laughs>